Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So this is a different type of video that I'm gonna be doing today, but with everybody being stuck at home and trying to figure out this new normal, I thought I would share a few of the activities I've been doing with the girls that we've really enjoyed these last few weeks. I know so many people are juggling, trying to work from home and parent, or just trying to figure out the new normal. And so I thought, why not share some of the things that have really worked with us in hopes of encouraging somebody else. These are not super creative ideas, but rather just random things that I have seen on different places we're all in this together and I am constantly asking for advice on things to do with kids to keep them busy and so hopefully this can serve as some encouragement to somebody else out there before we jump into it if you guys want to see behind the scenes of my everyday crazy feel free to follow me on Instagram at Katie D Oaks alrighty let's go ahead and jump into today's video so if you go to Pinterest, there's a bunch of different templates, but this is a great way to get your kids outdoors and have them look for something. It'd be really easy to create your own list based on where you live and what you have available to you. But I love having the girls work on this together. It gets them outdoors, it has them exploring, and it gets them to work together, which I absolutely love seeing. So yes, outdoor scavenger hunts are so fun and a great activity for kids of all ages. So all you're gonna need for this are some muffin liners, a muffin tin, and some loose change. And all you're gonna do is put the muffin liners in the muffin pans and write dollar amounts on there. As you can see, we've used this multiple times and the oldest absolutely loves this activity. And to make it a little more challenging, you can actually put two of the same numbers. So we have 96 cents here, 96 cents here, and have them make the change using different amounts of coins. If they use mostly quarters in this, they can't do the same in this. So this activity has really kept our oldest one busy and has really helped her with her counting change skills. $25.50, If you have younger kiddos, you could also use this activity by putting different color liners in here or using marker and coloring like a circle in and then taking some beads or something that's different colored and having them match the colors. I could also see this used for shapes if you have different shaped things. Really easy activity and keeps her pretty occupied. So this next activity is super simple and it really keeps our little one occupied for a long time. So essentially, you're just gonna take some oats or some rice and dump them in a container. And then what we like to do is put little objects in there. So these are her little hatchimals that she has and she essentially buries them and digs them using tweezers or a big kitchen spoon or anything that you have around the house that can kind of assist with like the fine motor skills. You could use food coloring on these. Whenever I did this, we did not have food coloring, so I kept it super simple. Little sister loves this activity. It does get messy, but it's really fun. I purchased some watercolor paints off of Amazon that the girls have been loving, but after doing several paintings, we decided to mix it up and make some greeting cards for our loved ones that we were unable to see. This can also be educational by teaching your children how to write addresses. A rainbow? Yeah. I love it's it. It's got yellow and green on this one. This one was the last one I done. That's beautiful. We miss you and yeah. are excited to see you again. Maybe they'll send something back Maybe. to us. Perfect, I love that one. Okay, we'll put that one in here. And then you're gonna put the address on the... Yep, and then we can mail them. So we're sending this one to my grandma and we're just writing her a sweet little letter or a sweet message and it'll bring some cheer to her. Whenever our little one first came, she didn't really know any of these cards, so we've really been working hard on them. And so I call this game, I Spy. Okay, can you find the heart? Good job, can you find the cake? Good job. This might seem like an obvious one, but baking or cooking with your children is so fun. It's a great bonding experience and it's a lifelong skill. So we had such a great time making some Rice Krispie treats and even a better time eating them. I told the girls we were making the Rice Krispie Treats for them, but let's be real, I'm stirring it inside with two kiddos. 
Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, I wanted to share one more thing. We have been doing our fair share of worksheets here, but I did see this little trick online. So if you have like a clear plastic folder or plastic, like one of those sheet protectors, you can put the paper in there and then use a dry erase marker. So you're not constantly printing new pieces of paper. They can literally do the same assignments every other day and then just erase them. So we are practicing cursive and it's really good. She can write all of our cursive letters, I can check them, and then we can erase them and do them the next day. Granted, our dry erase marker went kaput today, so I'm gonna have to get some new ones. I'm not leaving my house, don't you worry. I think I have some downstairs, or I'm gonna order them online. Anyway, this is a good idea to save a little paper. So those are some of the activities we are doing here to stay busy and occupied. It's been a really sweet time at home with the girls, and although sometimes I feel like I'm going a little stir crazy, I am thankful for this time, and it's just given us such an opportunity to bond, and yeah, I hope you guys are making the most of being at home with your loved ones. Let me know in the comments below some activities that you are doing at your houses that your kiddos are loving, or or if you don't have kids, just some of the activities you yourself are doing. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.